All right, so Saray, a question that's coming through is obviously right now nobody's doing in-person interviews. And while many companies have grown in their use of phone and virtual interviews, now it's pretty much the exclusive way for candidates to be screened. So how can a student stand out in a virtual interview? What should they do to make sure they're prepped and ready? Mm, yeah, very good question. So while I'm not an expert in a lot of things, I feel like I might be an expert on this particular topic. Uh, about three years ago, I started doing all of my first round interviews through FaceTime or Skype. So I've done maybe thousands of interviews this way. And so my advice is, first of all, to prep as if you are going for an in-person interview. Um, so what I mean yeah. by that, the only thing that you won't need is transportation to get to another building. Mm -hmm. So what you'll want to do is tons of research about the company. Um, you know, do all the research through LinkedIn, through the company website, um, through any network that you might have that works there. Okay. Prepare questions ahead of time. And in my mind, you should prepare questions in three different categories. So first, questions about the actual position. Mm -hmm. Secondly, questions about the company itself. And then finally, don't forget to ask questions about the person interviewing you. Mm -hmm. And again, with LinkedIn, it should be fairly easy to find the person that you're going to be interviewing with and at least get a little bit about their background. Mm -hmm. It's sure. not considered stalking when you look at someone's LinkedIn profile. They, they <laughs> have it out there because they want you to see it. Right. Good Next, point. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Next, I would wear professional attire as if you were going on a real interview. When in doubt, wear a suit. You know, wear a suit jacket. Um, for guys, you know, wear a shirt and tie. For women, professional blouse and a jacket. Um, this is the next thing I'm going to talk about, which is super important. You have to test your technology. So, <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Right? So yeah. if, if your home has really good Wi-Fi and you have no pets and no one living with you, it's perfectly fine to do your interview at home. If there's a ton of distractions with, you know, phones ringing and, and everything and you don't have good Wi-Fi, it's, in my opinion, it's fine to do your interview in the car. It's a quiet place. You can drive to a spot with excellent Wi-Fi. And I frequently have candidates who are currently actively working who have to do their FaceTime interview during their lunch break. And you can't do an interview at your company, so you run out to your car and you do the interview there. Yeah. The next piece of advice is even more important than the Wi-Fi almost. It's to make sure that there's no distractions in the background. So if you are doing your interview from your home and you have a dog, inevitably the mailman will come to the door while you're on your interview and the dog will go nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that employers don't understand that there could be some distractions in the home. I don't think anyone's going to knock you out of the process because you have a dog bark. Yeah. However, your train of thought when your dog goes nuts is going to be gone. So it's more to set you up for success that those distractions aren't there. Okay. Um, and then finally, just make sure that the background behind you is a neat room. So you don't want to do it in a bedroom with like messy things going on in the background. You want kind of a plain view in the background, a wall, maybe windows and, and wall hangings is fine, but not a lot of like craziness going on in the background. You want it to be a fairly simple background. Perfect. And plus now on any of the Zoom or Teams tools, they all have on, you know, office professional backgrounds you can put or kind of white out backgrounds. So, you know, even if you're having trouble with space, I know everybody's in close quarters with one another right now, but that can definitely be a tool there. And I can say to Saray's point about prepping, we did that for today and making sure and going through some pet interruptions and things like that. So it's always important to check all that. So thank you for those tips.